Okay, so I'm fairly certain this will work. Um, after some more crying and some more googling and trying a bunch of bullshit yesterday, I finally remembered if all else fails, restart. So I've restarted my laptop and the microphone started working. Um, I unfortunately cannot fix the one from yesterday. The sound isn't there and because of that there's no way to get a transcript or anything so it's a bit of a bugger. Um, but again it's a lesson in um, paying more attention because a sign like a, a, an error sign did come up at the beginning um, of the video I was making yesterday and I didn't see it fast enough so I really now am aware that I should have stopped it and checked but I didn't but such is life um, I slept in today so Grant called me at 7 21 in the morning and I think I just knew it wasn't gonna work like he rung me I was like yep 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 he's like get up and I'll video call you shortly and I was like yeah sure yep cool rolled over went back to sleep he was obviously busy because he was calling from work anyway um, I heard my phone going up a few times and boss got up a couple times and I just sort of kept snoozing and then boss got up and started barking his head off at like 10 30 in the morning and instantly I was like, okay, um, I know Andrew's here because I already knew I was seeing him. Um, so that was cool. Um, I got up, which was great, took my meds, down a bunch of coffees. Um, it's always good to see Andrew, so that was nice. And thankfully he has agreed to fill out the survey for me um, because it's it really is just like you got to, there's questions and then you got to, from what Randy has t told me today, he said there's questions like, like got multiple choice or like from one to five, you know, extreme, extremely disagree to extremely agree sort of thing. So no real writing or having to actually write stuff. So um, I'm very, very grateful. That will make it, what did we go? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven at least. And then if my father does do it, it'll make it eight people. So that's helpful um, because I'm at the point now where it's sort of like even though the data may not be exactly right for me because people like these people as Randy said he was like I've known you for longer than a year but I haven't known you for five um, but yeah anyway it's still better than using fake data um, I haven't done a lot today uni-wise. I've, I've listened to sort of like, you know, a chunk of the chapter. Thankfully, as I've said, my phone reads it to me. Um, Randy is a whiz at, um, like, he converts stuff. So, like, I, as we know, not a fan of technology. I'm not going to continue saying I suck at it, though, because that's not going to help me at all. Um, I'm doing the best I can. So, he has, he's able to, like, convert PDFs into Word. He obviously has a system that can do it that I don't. Um, so that's real helpful because he sends it to me and then Word can read it out loud to me if I need it on my computer. But as I've said, the phone will do it in the meantime. Um, besides the normal everyday chronic pain that I live in, which is just, it's there all the time. Like if I don't say I'm in pain, it's just because I'm at a normal level of pain. When I say that I'm in pain, it means it's really fucking excruciating. Um, today, I've been dealt with the real fucking excruciating pain. Like, the every time I stand up, I double over kind of pain. So I've got a heat pack on my abdomen at the moment. I don't know what's going on. Um, but Boss has made it very clear that he needs to be walked. Um, and I was going to walk him, it's 3.46pm now on Monday the 18th of July of 2022, I was going to walk him around about 3, but then I realised school had come out and he's a nightmare to walk as it is, so I don't need to make it worse for myself having kids and parents walking around. So I'm waiting for that to die down, I've taken pain meds obviously, um, which are helping, sort of, it definitely feels worse when I stand up, so it will be, 
an extremely short walk, but I feel like if I can get myself out there, even just a walk around the block is good for me as well. Um, I'm doing what I love to do, and I am notes for my toilet. Um, I'm getting better at memorizing stuff. Last night I learned that motivated unconscious is when mental content enters the unconscious for a motivated reason because the trauma is so bad that it would cause pain in the con in our conscious. Con yeah, right. Motivated unconscious is when mental content that would cause extreme traumatic pain if it was at the forefront on our conscious is motivated to go into the unconscious, which when I relate it back to myself, I find it easier to remember. So I've talked about the fact that, that most of my childhood, for example, I had no memories of. Um, and I've spent years and years in therapy and I spent years asking all the psychiatrists and doctors and whatever I could to hypnotize me uh, to bring the memories back. And they've all said, absolutely no way there's no way that's going to happen because the memories have been wiped for a reason so like i said that is easy for me to relate to because now i can go okay so those memories that i don't have access to are motivated unconscious they were put into the unconscious because they're too traumatic for me to deal with so i am getting there slowly but surely. Um, my new friend in the Philippines is keen to start. Um, she's currently on summer break, but I'm actually going to send her pictures of the notes on my walls because you can just zoom in and read them all. So I thought it'd be fun if I do that and then we could like quiz each other. Um, like I said, I finished week one's worth of content, which is good. I finished the article, which is good. Um, I've got plenty of people doing this survey for me now, so I'm feeling a lot better. Yesterday I was super cranky. We're aware. I did. I cried a lot. Had a little bit of a meltdown. And then I realized at around about half past five, six o'clock, that allowing university to give me a nervous breakdown is ridiculous. I'm on disability. I'm on disability for a reason. I choose to go to university. I choose to pay the amounts of money I'm paying to be at university. I'm a New Zealand citizen living in Australia. I do not get student loans here. Every unit I do, I pay up front. So I really want to be there. And most of the time, the whole feeling of it's all just going to be exactly how it's going to be is, is fine. Like, I can tap into that so much better now. Um, but yesterday, I was struggling. I was really struggling to pull myself up. I was struggling to, to rise above it. Um, you know, as I said in the video that we don't get to see because there's no sound, I did say that crying is something I find extremely therapeutic. Um, so I don't want anyone to ever feel bad if they cry. Like, crying is helpful. Gets it all out, you know. Um, but yeah, once I was able to just fully see what I had done to myself for the entire day, which was not a fun day yesterday, I was able to just be like, what the fuck, Liv? And then I realized I'm done with uni for the day and that was it. And yeah, it was just like this awesome sort of realization that I, I, I will get the grades I get. I will achieve whatever I achieve. I'm always going to be a student of life. I've said it a billion times. If I don't get into psych, I'll go and do philosophy. I've already smashed my grades out for philosophy philosophy so that's fine um but yeah i'm definitely feeling better when it comes to mentally and emotionally today physically i hate my body it sucks ass but life goes on um thankfully i've called the pharmacy today and they're ordering in my new bladder medication and hallelujah even though it's not on the pbs it is half 
the price of what the current bladder medication is I'm taking. Um, so they said like $29.95 for 30 tablets, and I'm currently paying $66 for 30 tablets, so I'm very happy. Uh, and it does look like there might be higher strengths too, so if there is, my GP can up the amount if need be. Uh, because obviously, as we're aware, this is like a full between for learn but between me now and surgery. I'm category two for surgery, so in the middle. Um, but apparently there's this new variant going around and the hospital's getting full again, so I guess what will be will be. Um, but yeah, I, I'm not going to allow university to break me because believe me, in the six years I've been there, it has broken me so many times. And I'm past it. I'm past it. I don't want to... Days like yesterday make me want to quit uni. Make me never want to even contemplate doing another degree. It just makes me feel so fucking dumb. And it's the feeling like I'm dumb that I don't handle very well. Which I guess I will write down for my next therapy session. Because the therapist is awesome. As we know. You just watch my recordings. Like... I don't know who watches them or who doesn't, but I was saying to Andrew today, um, she literally talks to you guys now. Like, she obviously is very aware of the fact that I'm filming everything. Um, and throughout the session now, she will say to your followers, blah, 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 and she will talk in the sense that she knows it's coming to me. She's my therapist, but she also knows I'm recording it and sharing it with all of you. Um, and it's really kind of cool, I think. But, like I said, I'm working my way up to walking my dog because it has been a few days um, and I need it as much as he does. I want to keep listening to my chapter because the man on the phone talks three to four times as fast as me, which means I can listen to it a few times. Um, I just have to, I really have to invest in new headphones because the ones I got for my birthday the ones I got for my birthday, this is going to sound ridiculous, okay? But I cannot figure out how to wear them properly. Okay. Like I said, I knew that sounds ridiculous, but let's try this, all right? This is where I have str I struggle. I struggle with a lot. <sighs> but, you know, at least I, sh I share because I'm not the only one. And I'm just no longer worried or embarrassed or actually care what people think of me. Like, I didn't really care what people thought of me my whole life, but I, my ego did, or does, and I'm much better at keeping that crap under control. Let's see if I can do this. I don't know why I find it so freaking hard, but I do. Oh, no, look, there's half of one. Yeah, fucked up on it. But anyway, I will figure it out. Usually I just walk with it in my um hand out loud, but... It's been raining off and on. Oh, life is raining again. I love the rain, but I don't particularly want to walk in the rain. Um, I don't want to go for a walk at all, given how I feel. But we'll see how I go when I stand up again, I guess. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to make my video. Um, oh, and I've had someone contact me again about my post on Reddit. Um for my research stats on how to learn the theory, which he reckons the stuff with the software becomes second nature once you learn the main part of it. So, you know, I'm willing to get as much help as I possibly can because, let's face it, I need it. Um, the gas and electricity compare thing just called me earlier. I said to them what Rachel said to me. I was like... She reckons you guys only um, compare the ones you get commission from. And she's like, well, we do. And I was like, so do you compare everyone? And she's like, no, we don't. And she already had the scan bills. Um, so she knew what I was paying, but she asked what the discounts and stuff were. And I, I told her. And according to that lady, I'm actually paying the best price. She's like, you are actually, of all, she goes, out of all the companies, that we can recommend, she goes, you're 100% paying the cheapest amount, and of all the actual different plans within that company, again, I'm still paying the cheapest amount. So I asked her about a few of the different um, 
companies that I've had other people say to me. And she was like, they're currently not offering anything. She's like, so I, was, so I don't really know what's going on with that. Um, I asked Randy to ask his mum and then he reminded me that I've got her details I can ask her herself so I have and there's stuff flashing at me I've got emails coming through from uni and Sue's messaging me that's Randy's mum um but yeah pretty sure this is gonna work and you're all gonna be able to hear me but I guess we will find out soon um happy Monday